I just wanted to uh, put into the right sort of frame and perspective what you are hearing from some of the states about Trump claims and Trump lawsuits. Uh, and I think they're connected. The lawsuits uh, are meritless. They're intended to give the Trump campaign the opportunity to argue that the vote count should stop. It is not going to stop. And I'll walk through uh, some of the silliness behind these claims momentarily. But I want to emphasize that for their purposes, these lawsuits don't have to have merit. That's not the purpose. It's not to put, bring bona fide claims before the courts. It is to create an opportunity for them to message falsely about what's taking place in the electoral process. And to go to Jen's point, it's really quite remarkable. These election officials are working overnight trying to get the count out and trying to get it right. And the Trump campaign is continually alleging irregularity, failures of the system and fraud uh, without any basis. This is part of a broader misinformation campaign uh, that involves some political theory, theater. You may have heard about uh, some loud noises being made by Trump supporters at the polling places, uh, the shouts of stop the vote count and the like. Well, be aware that wherever this is happening, and it's happening inappropriately at close proximity to the polling place, uh, law enforcement and election officials are clearing the places quickly of this kind of behavior and assuring that the vote count can continue. But all of this is intended to create a large cloud that it is the hope of the Trump campaign that nobody can see through, but it is not a very thick cloud. It's not hard to see what they're doing. We see through it. So will the courts and so do election officials. Now, let me begin. Uh, let me just close by saying a little bit so that you have some grounding in what these lawsuits uh, seem to be about. Let's take two, three examples, Georgia, Michigan and Pennsylvania. So let's take Georgia. In Chatham County, uh, the Trump campaign showed up to allege that 53 late arriving ballots were mixed with ballots received on time. What was the evidence of that? Well, a Trump observer expressed some suspicion about something that may have happened uh, when that uh, observer left the room. That was it. That was the sole purpose of it, uh, the sole basis of it is sort of an expression of suspicion. So the Trump campaign requested that Georgia counties separate uh, any and all late arriving ballots. Well, that's interesting because that's what election officials are already doing because that's what the law requires. So you have a suspicion that is expressed as the basis for a lawsuit demanding that election officials do what election officials are already doing because the law requires it. I think it's kind of comic, but that's what's involved. Another example comes from Michigan. In Michigan, uh, the Trump campaign uh, filed suit alleging that Republican inspectors should have been afforded the opportunity to witness the collection of ballots from drop boxes, and they asked for the counting uh, to be halted. Well, the collection from the drop boxes was conducted by trained election officials, precisely as provided by law, and the claim is completely meritless. It's a messaging exercise. It has no other purpose than to confuse uh, the public about what's taking place and to support their baseless claims of irregularity. Final example from Pennsylvania. They continue to file suits in this case. In many cases, they're litigating over issues they've already litigated. So they're kind of running out of ideas and they're recycling them. And in other instances, they're filing over utterly immaterial matters like where they may be permitted to stand and observe while the counting takes place. Uh, as another example, they've intervened in a pending Supreme Court case in, involving Pennsylvania. But their lawyers are already there representing the Republican Party. So they're intervening one more time with the same legal team to duplicate a filing that's already taken place to give people the impression that something important is happening in the United States Supreme Court. But in fact, it's not. Uh, it's the same old case with the same parties lined up arguing the same issues. Nothing has changed. So let me just close by saying this strategy of disrupting the vote count, as you can tell by the efforts of election officials to continue to count, is doomed to fail. But in the background, the noise is fraud, irregularity, and the like. And the lawsuits and the disruptive behavior are all for that purpose of trying to get the vote counted, try to confuse the public about what's taking place. And we'll make sure the public is clear about what's taking place and election officials operating under the law will make sure that the vote count continues.